Today we are going to talk about this accident, which is very popular on social media. The lives of the passengers on board the TransAsia Airlines flight depended on the decisions of the pilots at short notice. The story of TransAsia Flight 235 is based on official accident reports and eyewitness accounts. It was February 4, 2015, at Songshan Airport in Taipei, the capital of Taiwan. Flight 235 of TransAsia Airlines was to be a domestic flight. Minutes later, the plane was getting ready to take off for a flight to Kinmen, also in Taiwan. The plane was an ATR 72-600 with two turboprop engines. Turboprop engines are propeller engines that provide high efficiency at low speeds. This ATR-72 with tail number Bravo 22816 made its first flight on March 28, 2014, and was delivered to TransAsia Airlines about two weeks later. Just four days after the company took delivery of the aircraft, both engines were replaced due to technical malfunctions. Four months later, the replaced right engine was replaced again. In short, in four months, the plane had three engine changes. A total of 1,627 hours of flight time had been flown with the brand new aircraft which had been in service for only 10 months. A total of 58 people boarded the plane, including 53 passengers and 5 flight crew. 31 of the passengers were Chinese and 22 were Taiwanese. The pushback was started by approaching the vehicle to the pushback. Let's take a quick break. We've put a lot of effort into this video, so if you find it informative, please remember to subscribe and like. Your support allows us to create more content for you. The pilots started to do their taxis at the airport, which is both a civilian airport and a military airfield. Three of the five flight crew were pilots, and all three pilots were captain pilots. Liao, the 42-year-old captain pilot in command of the flight, had 4,900 hours of flight experience, 3,400 of which were on ATR-72s. 45-year-old Captain Liu, who was sitting in the co-pilot's seat, had 6,900 hours of flight experience. Both pilots were very experienced in this aircraft type. 63-year-old Captain Hung, who was sitting in the jump seat behind them, was much more experienced than the pilots in front of them, with 16,120 hours of flight experience. Almost all of the passengers on board were tourists. The real conversations between the pilots and the controller are now coming on the screen. <laughs> After completing their taxi, the pilots aligned the turboprop aircraft at the runway. The pilots powered both engines of the propeller-driven aircraft. They reached V1, then take off speed. They took off from runway 10 of the airport at 10.50 am. After taking off, they checked the controls, set the autopilot to 5,000 feet, and started turning the plane to the right. The plane, with 58 people on board, started climbing over the center of Taipei, a city of more than 7 million inhabitants. Just two minutes after takeoff, the plane's master caution warning system was activated. Master caution is an indicator on the plane that is usually activated in emergencies and requires urgent intervention. Immediately after the master caution warning, the right engine stopped working. The flight computer automatically switched the engine propellers to the feather position. In this type of engine failure, the propellers come to a steeper angle to prevent the formation of friction, so that the aircraft can stay in the air for maximum time by creating minimum friction. In short, the system propellers are positioned parallel to the incoming air, allowing the aircraft to stay in the air longer. The first thing pilots should do in such emergencies is to increase the power of the intact engine to keep the aircraft in the air. When it is determined which engine has failed, the failing engine is put in a safe position. In the appropriate position, it is tried to restart the engine and if the engine does not start again, it is requested to head to the airport for an emergency landing. But the experienced captain pilot made an unbelievable mistake and due to his confusion, he said that he was going to cut the power to the only engine that was intact. He told his co-pilot that the throttle levers of the right engine are back. The co-pilot responded by saying just a second. The co-pilot was trying to understand what had happened to the plane and was looking at the gauges in front of him. They were panicking because they were down to one engine and they were at a low altitude. 
These types of airplanes are designed to fly even if they lose their single engine. So even if they lost their single engine, the plane had enough altitude, fuel, and power to glide to the runway. But after the captain pulled the intact engine back, there was no engine left to generate power. The airspeed of the ATR-72 began to drop rapidly. They were only able to climb 1,630 feet. Only two minutes after takeoff, the co-pilot saw that the airspeed was dropping and gave the emergency report to the tower. Here are those last conversations of the pilot coming on the screen. From that moment on, the pilots could no longer communicate. The airplane started to bank to the left with the shutdown of the working engine. The captain was shouting that the number one engine was also feathering. Stall warnings started to be heard in the cockpit. The co-pilot shouted how was it possible that both engines had stopped. They were only 1,000 feet 300 meters above the streets of Taipei. The flight crew tried to restart the left engine which they had shut down while it was still intact. Within seconds, they were able to restart the engine, but they had already lost control of the plane. The plane was in a 90-degree bank. The wings could no longer generate lift because of the bank they were in. And the plane crashed with 58 people on board into the Keelung River in Taipei, 3.1 miles, about 5 kilometers from the airport. The last images of the plane were captured by a cell phone camera. The plane first hit a taxi that was driving and then hit a viaduct and fell into the river. Unfortunately, 43 of the 58 people on board the plane lost their lives. Only 15 people managed to survive. Two people in the taxi they hit were injured. The last view of the plane after the accident is shown on the screen. The plane was split into two main parts by hitting the water upside down. The majority of the surviving passengers were passengers sitting in the tail section of the plane. A cabin attendant was also among the survivors. After the accident, search and rescue operations were started immediately from the wreckage by boat. They were so close to the city center that they could have crashed among civilians. Fortunately, no civilians were died in the crash. It is possible that the pilots deliberately chose to crash the plane into the river in the last seconds. The first draft report on the crash was published in November 2015, and the final report was released in July 2016. According to the final report, there was a piloting error in the accident, and the captain pilot had reduced the power of the aircraft's left engine, which was running, causing it to shut down. The pilots did not follow the standard failure detection procedure. They were therefore confused as to which engine had gone. Investigators also looked at the captain pilot's past flight records and found that he had failed a similar event in the simulator due to a lack of information. So why did the right engine fail at the start? The failure was caused by the failure of solder joints in the auto feather system, which reduces friction in the engines. The light in the automatic power control system did not light up after the engines were powered up during the initial takeoff run. But the pilots continued the flight when they should have aborted the takeoff. After takeoff, when the airplane rapidly lost speed and entered the stall, the system tried to push the lever and accelerate the airplane. This was among the factors that contributed to the pilots losing control. Although the pilots tried to restart the engine, the altitude they were at was not enough to restart the engine. According to the report, the uncoordinated work of the flight crew was one of the main causes of the accident. The Civil Aviation Authority announced that all ATR pilots in the company would undergo additional proficiency tests. More than 100 TransAsia flights were cancelled and the company suffered huge financial losses. 10 pilots failed the proficiency tests. 19 pilots did not participate in the test. 29 pilots in the company had their licenses suspended for a month. The government ordered all airlines in Taiwan to review their safety protocols. Shortly before this accident, another ATR-72 aircraft crashed due to pilot error during approach on Flight 222 of the same company. The company has lost a lot of trust as a result of successive accidents. $475,000 in compensation was offered to the families of each of the accident victims, but the families did not accept this money. TransAsia Airlines announced its decision to close the company by stopping all flight operations indefinitely on November 22, 2016. Founded in 1951, the company had organized many flights until 2016.
in memory of the 43 people who lost their lives in the Trans-Asia Airlines Flight 235 crash.